Ambition means waking up in the morning and saying I've got no barriers and I'm going to go and get what I want to get today. So I think ambition is just waking up and getting on with your day, being amazing. Do you see yourself as ambitious? Uh, I do, I do, but I think that came after years of really just trying to not let things get me down. So um, I think you get ambition with, with maturing and growing. So it's something that you've consciously cultivated rather than something that you came with? Yes, yeah, because um, I don't think that our school system, if we're going through like a traditional trajectory, um, that it fosters ambition. Um, I think that it comes when you are consciously wanting it to. So, yeah. And you were speaking yesterday about the role of your parents. Can mm. you talk a bit about how that influenced you in terms of your ambition? For sure. Um, well, I grew up with my parents saying that I could do whatever I wanted, but that, that, but I had to go to university. So there was a limit to how ambitious that I should be. Um, until I left university to start my first company and I think my parents really realised then that I did have ambition in other ways um, that they didn't think it was possible. Um, so I'm just really grateful to my parents that they allowed me to find my ambition in places that they, they thought I'd get it but wasn't really the case. But they still supported me anyway. Um, so I, I, yeah, I'm grateful to them that they just supported change in my life. Can you describe for me the most ambitious person that you know other than yourself? Um, I would have to say my partner, actually. Okay. Um, I thought my job was hard. I thought that what I was doing was really difficult. But then when I see him getting up every day um, without any fuss, and he's just so focused on his goal. Like, I've never seen ambition in anybody like that, ever in my entire life. Um, so, it's just really, yeah, it's kind of addictive to see him being so ambitious and be like, yeah, I can do that too. Is there anything that would enable you to be more ambitious? Uh, yeah, I, I think I think so, for sure. Um, things that would allow me to be more ambitious would probably be having a more secure network around me, so uh, people that ch would challenge me always, but are also champions in my corner. Um, having their support, I think, would be give me the kind of tools to be more ambitious and go get what I want a lot more, um, yeah. Do you have any observations about how ambition is viewed in New Zealand? I think ambition is viewed as um, kind of standoffish in New Zealand a little bit. So you see an ambitious person and you kind of want them to be a bit more humble mm -hmm. and I just don't think that's the right approach. Um, Seeing someone that's ambitious, it should be, um, you know, motivating. Uh, and you should want that person in your corner and you should want to um, do more things with them. And But no, it's, I think it's viewed as kind of, no, that person's way too ambitious and um, I don't really like that. And a lot of people get um, kind of turned off by it. Do you think it's an envy thing or is it coming from some other place? I think a bit of both really, like maybe 20% envy and then 80% just, oh this person should be more humble in what they're doing um, and they're just too out of the box and I don't like it so I'm just not going to be friends with them.